Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to draw the attention of this Council towards the human rights situation in Balochistan. The Baloch people continue to face worse forms of atrocities and human rights abuses at the hands of Pakistani security forces. Enforced disappearances, torture and extrajudicial murders of Baloch political activists, human rights defenders and students by state agencies continue unabated. My organization has been recording and reporting such gross violations of human rights to this council, but unfortunately no steps have been taken to prevent them from reoccurring. 173 Baloch people have been abducted by the Pakistani authorities since the start of this year, and 91 people have been extrajudicially murdered. This makes the average as 10 cases of enforced disappearances and three custody killings every week. This is an alarming situation which requires immediate attention and action by the international community, especially this council. There should be no more silence on burning human rights issues of Balochistan. Pakistan should be questioned and held accountable for such horrific incidents of human rights abuses in Balochistan by the armed forces and intelligence agencies. This council can only succeed in its commitments for human rights when the countries committing those violations are held answerable. I call on members of this council to speak up on human rights issues in Balochistan and question Pakistan about them and urge the Pakistani government to stop those abuses. I thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, sir.